finally uh, finally announced Derek Chisora will be taking Ole taking on Alexander Usyk on May twenty third in live in London. Yeah, this fight I think it was supposed to actually take place in March, but it was pushed back because of apparent injury with Alexander Usyk. But it's official now because I actually saw on Instagram Eddie Hearn talking about an, an announcement. And it would, everyone was talking about, is it going to be the Usek Derek Chisora or is it going to be the Billy Joe Saunders Canelo announcement? It's the Usek versus Derek Chisora. Will Derek Chisora knock Usek out? Will Usek do the Will Usek dance around the ring like a ballerina and get to Derek Chisora's chin and knock him out or potentially win a twelve round decision? So let's see what what's the, what's the what's the reaction? What's Derek Chisora said? What's Usek said? Usek said. Boxing in my boxing in Manchester 2018, obviously against against Tony Bellew, it was an amazing experience. Now I get to do it in London at the famous O2 Arena, and I can't wait to fight in front of the British fans once again. As cruiserweight, I reached the highest heights of as undisputed champion, and now I'm follow following the same path as a heavyweight. I expect a real test in Chizora. He's strong, tough, resilient. I recall being an amateur and watching him fight Vitali Klitschko. He seems so big and far away. Now. I am myself taking. I now I am I am myself taking a fight against Zora. I'm working hard in training camp to show a spectacular performance on May 23rd. Dear friends, I'll see you soon. So those are the words of Alexander Usek. Let's check out Chizora. What's Chizora saying? Chizora says war is coming. You <laughs> Chizora is always about war. Before it's Del Boy, now it's war. Chizora. So it's all about war. Usek reckons he can step up and survive with the big boys. He may be the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, but on May 23rd, he will find out what it really feels like to be hit by a real heavyweight. He's coming to my backyard. I'm going to remind him exactly why he hid in the cruiserweight division and also get revenge from my boy Tony Bellew. This will be war. So those are the words of um, Derek Chisora. I think this fight is going to be a war. Derek Chisora, that's all he knows. The guy is going to bring war to Alexander Usyk. All them Fancy pants dancing around the ring and all that kind of stuff, ballerina stuff, dancing. Mate, Derek is coming to bring the smoke to Alexander Usyk. Will Alexander Usyk get knocked out by in spectacular fashion by Derek Chisora in an unbelievable shock win for Derek? Or will Alexander Usyk deliver a Tony Bellew style win over Chisora and knock him spark out? Because for me. This fight is actually a good, is quite interesting in terms of styles. Because stylistically, you would actually favor Alexander Usyk. Because when, I uh, can't remember who it was that Derek Chisora fought. What's the name of this guy? It's, uh, man, I have to, I have to go, I have to go check the, who this guy was. I can't remember his name. But Derek Chisora, he fought a guy, I think it was at like the O2 as well. The guy didn't come to really fight. The guy was just dancing around the ring and all that. I think you guys, if you guys could drop your comments in the drop your comments in the comment section, you could uh, to let me know who that was. I'm gonna go check it. The fight was a boring fight. It was so boring. Like the guy was just dancing around. So I feel like in terms of Usyk and his movement, obviously we still have to see how his movement is at the in the heavyweight because I don't think his movement looked as good as it did in the cruiserweight division as in based off Usyk's performance against that Chaz Witherspoon because. I feel like if he fights the way he fought Chaz Witherspoon against Chisora, I feel like Chisora will catch him eventually. And I don't, we don't really know how this guy's chin is going to hold up against a proper heavyweight detonating on his chin. Because Chisora, this ain't, this ain't amateur boxing. This is, this, <laughs> this is the pro leagues, man. Because I know, what's his name? Usak, he's, he's fought, um, he fought Joe Joyce in, in the heavyweights, in, in amateurs. This is professional boxing, and you've got a beast. And a warrior like Chizora, it's not the same as taking on the amateur Joe Joyce. So, I feel like this is going to be an interesting fight in terms of the styles. Obviously, if you look in terms of Usyk style, uh, you're looking at the speed, the hand speed, the foot speed, the technical skills, being able to find your chin, the angles, uh, being able to turn opponents. Just, just basically all the skills that he displayed against Tony Bellew. And... If Chizor, if if Usek, the delivery he delivered, the fight, the styles, and the way the way he fought against Tony Bellew, uh, uh, Tony Bellew's got obviously better foot move, better feet, foot movement than Chizora. 
obviously better foot movement than Chisora and before turn four. And I don't whether is Tony Bentley got a better engine than Chisora? Mm, I think Chisora's got quite a, he's got quite a good engine. Even though when he starts to get tired, he knows how to kind of kind of to breeze his way through fights, even though he's kind of tired. But Tony Bellew, like Usek, even with Bellew's foot movement and the uh, some of it, a bit, even though it was a bit elusive and everything like that, and he was still and Bellew was still throwing his power shots and still looking good. Somehow, Usek is able to weather the early storm that Tony Bellew brought a little bit. And started finding Tony Bellew's chin, and Tony Bellew's a guy that still got good, like decent, good, like good movement. So Chisora, who ain't got that movement that um, that uh, what do you call it? That Tony Bellew's got. Will he be a sitting duck for a sitting duck and a play toy for <laughs> for Ole for Alexander Uzet to play with, and eventually get to his chin, or, p or potentially get to him enough to get a twelve rounds decision victory over Chisora? But one thing I feel like Chisora is that Chisora is not going to come to play around, you know, come to dance around, come to foot movement. We all know what Chisora is going to come to. He's going to walk forward into Usyk. And I don't think Usyk's power is respected in the heavyweight. We don't know. We haven't seen this guy knock anyone out. He, he, he didn't even knock out Witherspoon. Witherspoon actually quit on his stool because he was basically too tired to continue from. He was too tired. Usyk couldn't stop him. <laughs> Usyk couldn't stop with a spoon. The guy was too tired. He stopped. So I don't think Usyk has the like. I've seen Chisora take some shots on the chin. I don't think Usyk is gonna. He's got that one punch, two punch combination that's gonna knock Chisora out. I don't think. I don't see Chisora getting knocked out by something like that early. I don't see that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Usyk how, how Usyk takes that fight on on the night. Because I just don't see Usyk knocking out Chizora early in that fight. Or anything or anything along those lines. I feel like it will be a process. If Chizora knocks Usyk out, it will be a process. Of, of using, obviously, his ring IQ getting to Chizora's chin and things like that. It will be a process. I don't see him sparking him out or anything like that. Just in like one shot or two shots and boom, Chizora's gone. I don't see that early in the fight. But in terms of Chizora, I, I, listen, we didn't see think Chizora was going to knock out Carlos Takam. And Takam is quite durable. Takam's got, I, I'll say Takam's got quite a good chin. And for Chizora to just do, land one shot on Takam, and Takam went to, got dropped, he put, stood up, he dropped him again. Chizora has definitely got the power to knock Usek out. He has got the power. We've seen Chizora knock out Arthur Spielka in devastating fashion. We've seen, uh, what do you call it, Arthur, uh, Chizora knock out David Price, devastating fashion. We've seen Chizora knock out, what's his name? What's a, how can I forget this guy's name now? Uh, Chisora knocked out Alpha Spilka. Devastating fashion. So, we yeah, we've seen Chisora can get to Usyk and he can knock him out. So, anyone suggesting that Chisora can't knock out Alexander Usyk, I think they're just talking nonsense. Chisora can knock him out and Chisora can get to him if he can buy this time. And potentially find the right shot because no one I never expected that shot from Chisora to land on 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 what's his name Carlos Takam's chin. I didn't expect it. And so anything can happen. This is heavyweight boxing, but stylistically, I think Usyk will cause Chisora a lot of problems in terms of the movement. But Chisora's has got a very strong will, and if Usyk is going to come in for the fin, he's going to have to be he's going to have to meet Chisora head on, and Chisora's not going anywhere. We saw how Chizora can put pressure on you for a lot of rounds. He put a pre lot of pressure on, on Dylan White for a lot of rounds. Dylan White rematch. He put a lot of pressure on Dylan White. Uh, he put a, <laughs> throughout the fight. To be honest, Chizora was actually winning on the scorecards against Dylan White. And he took Chizora took a lot of shots from Dylan White as well. He took an early right hand from Dylan White in the first round. He ate that one up. So that's why I don't think Chizora is going to really detonate that one shot that's only going to put Chizora to sleep. I don't see it. So, yeah, this fight has been announced. Chizora is basically just saying what he always says. He's, going, he's bringing war. Yeah, yeah, he's, bring, he's bringing the war. Uh, Usyk, obviously, in heavyweight division, he's only beat Chaz Witherspoon thus far. And as I said before, Chizora has that. He's knocked out Carlos Takam. He's knocked out Arthur Spilka. And he's knocked out David Price. So, 
Chizoras, to be honest, is uh, he's been, he's, he's had a good streak of knockouts. Apart from get before, apart from getting knocked out by um, Dylan White, which was, uh, to be honest, I don't really, because a lot of people are gonna say that that obviously Chizora got knocked out by White, and so Usyk's gonna knock out Chizora. Those people who are basically just assuming that Usyk's got that power to knock Chizora out just like that, for which I don't think he does. But it's heavyweight boxing, but. Chizora Usa is moving from, from moving up from the cruiserweight division. In that fight with uh Chizora and Dylan White, that fight, I, one thing I think let me just before I before I move on to what I'm gonna say, one thing I think Chizora needs to do is not I think he would have learned from this, is not to allow what refs, what refs uh, 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 whether, whether he's because he got deducted the point against Dylan White and it influenced what he did straight after. He just went after Dylan White and ended up getting knocked out because he felt like he was behind on the scorecard. Obviously, I know, I know now that he's he not... I know now. Derek's going to know now that you might be ahead on the scorecard because he was ahead on the scorecards against Dylan White before he got knocked out. So, you never know. Chizora might be ahead on the scorecard. If you're getting deducted points for one thing or the other, keep doing what you're doing. And we do know that based off what Chizora was doing, and I believe Chizora was behind on scorecards against Takam. He can find that money shot, and he can knock you out. So, Chizora versus Usek. If somehow, obviously, if Usek beats Chizora, it would, that would probably that would be seen as a routine win, and then Usek will just be remain as mandatory for the WBO against AJ. If Derek Chizora knocks out Alexander Usek. And becomes the WBO mandatory for Anthony Joshua. Can you imagine how big that fight would be? AJ versus Derek Warchizora for the WBO uh, for who for, uh, for a unified heavyweight champion. If AJ is able to beat Kubrat Pulev, that would be a massive fight. I, I I feel like that fight has to be in the UK if that fight did happen. If somehow Chizora was able to beat Usek and go on to fight AJ, that would be a massive fight. That would be <laughs> that may be a massive fight. And imagine Derek Chizora becomes unified heavyweight champion. Raw man, crazy thing in heavyweight boxing. Drop your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about Derek Chisora? Usek versus Derek Chisora officially announced for May twenty third live at the O2 in London. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a massive fight, guys. Drop your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about this announcement from Eddie Hearn? Cool.